Hey guys, this is Osmish Zovi and welcome back to another episode of the HSV series. In the previous episode, we left you with an end of season review type thing against Freiburg. Um, pretty disappointing end to the season at that. But um, it's a fresh new season now, so finished pre-season. Um, we'll get into the fixtures in a minute, but first we'll do the transfers. Been a little bit of activity. I said I wasn't going to make too much, but I decided to splash out just a little bit. Um, as you can see, uh, quite a few players went out. Um, these three players um, were released from the club. And then we had other players like Alex Bassetti leaving to Bari for 1.5 mil. Um, you got Ben Watson leaving to Derby County for 250k. We just got rid of a bit of the uh, fringe players. Um, has a guy left for 650k. Um, Deke Meyer, he was a bit unhappy, so I decided to try and get as much as I can for him. Sold him to Hanover for 8 million. Pretty decent uh, piece of business there. Of course, he's a great player, but um, I don't want unhappy players in my squad. We then let Levin um, Ostanali out on loan to Rostock as well as Marco Lee, the Australian central midfielder. He went on loan to Dresden. Um, Dominic Masek also left on loan, this time to Bochum for a 2000 per month fee. Um, Christian Norgaard, the uh, Danish central midfielder, left for Duisburg for one mil. Um, good to get him off the uh, wage bill, as he's never played a game for us. Um, and the final player to leave was Ashton Gotts, um, who left on loan to Oberhausen. Um, as far as transfers that came to the club, we signed Lars Stark on a free transfer. Um, German right back, 18 years old, and he's a pretty decent quality player. Um, we then have Josh McEachern, the uh, former Chelsea uh, youth player, current Chelsea play, uh, youth player in real life. As you can see, he just brought him in to replace Ben Watson as a backup central midfielder on the left side. We then brought in Juan from uh, Inter Milan on a free transfer as well, just to uh, another central defender that um, would hopefully be decent enough to um, hopefully propel us up the league a bit. Um, as you can see, he's worth 4.7, so 25 years old, could easily flip him on for a bit more uh, cash. Um, further down the line, maybe in a season. Um, and the final player we brought to the club was Claudio Miranda from University Dad Catalica for 3.4 mil. As you can see, he's from Chile. Um, we lost Deke Meyer, so I wanted to replace him with a, another high quality right uh, fullback. And I did that. I felt like I accomplished uh, quite a decent buy there for 3.4. Um, he looks like he's worth a bit more, especially at 20 years old. Of course, the most recent fixtures now. Um, we had quite a few friendly games, um, just the uh, five there, and of course the uh, German Cup first round. We had Juventus at home first, 3 0 disappointing defeat, but um, as you can see, things started off terribly from the start uh, for us with Manuel Fink getting an own goal. Um, we then versus FC Bayern, of course, away from home. We always have a friendly game against them, and uh, the nil all draw, pretty fair result. Our defence played outstanding. The whole team pretty much played well. Um, as far as match stats go, um, they dominated us pretty much. Um, the next game was against Racing from Spain. Another two, well, a first pre-season victory for us away from home. Uh, Son Heung Min, of course, getting a brace for himself in the 67th and 93rd minute. Uh, we then faced another Spanish team in Salta, again away from home. This time Juracek um, in the 66th minute um, and Santa Maria in the 93rd in stoppage time. Um, we then faced Juventus' reserves, so we've their first team and we've their reserves this preseason. And we only managed a one-all draw, which is pretty disappointing. I guess it goes to show just how strong Juventus are at the moment. Marcus Berg on the 49th minute, and um, I actually thought we'd have, we had won this game. But um, Nello Petrillo scored for Juventus Reserves in the 89th minute to our level of score. And of course, I call it the preseason game, but it was the German Cup first round, and we versed Halle 96, away from home, of course. 
and uh, managed a 6-0 victory, which was pretty amazing. Seon Hong Min getting um, four goals for himself in the 9th, 43rd, 69th, and 83rd minute. Jury Cech also getting on the score sheet in the 62nd, and uh, we also got an own goal. Um, so we're looking forward. We've got Hertha BSC in the live com today, um, away from home. So it'll be a tough first game for us, I suppose. Um, but looking forward to the uh, season ahead. And um, we won't have Champions League or any type of European competition this season. So hopefully we can uh, buckle down and get another positive season out. Whereas last season was a bit disappointing for us. All right, well, let's get into today's live con then. Of course, we are versing Hertha BSC. Not the not the toughest team, but um, they are um, able to upset us if we let them. Um, the first team today will be Adler in goals, as always. Left back Erger, um, Juan Stan, uh, the start, sorry, in the centre of defence, left side. Bowen on the right side. Uh, Miranda also gets a start in right back today. Jobson Cleason in defensive mid. Juracek and Kalhanoglu in the centre of midfield. Contreras on the right wing, Beaster on the left, and of course Marcus Berg up front. On the bench today we have Fink, Mencien, Grushin, Spendelhofer, Navarrete, Santa Maria, and Hyungmin. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's get straight in. Start this season off properly, the Bundesliga season that is. Just waiting for them to warm up. Of course Bayern have already won their game, they played first. And uh, managed to win, so everyone's just going to be catching them probably for the whole season, which is unfortunate, but um, it's to be expected. It is Bayern Munich. Of course, this is the pointless highlight. 15 minutes in now. We've finally got our first highlight, 17 minutes in. And Hertha are on the ball. Moving it wide. There we go, gets skinned crossed and that's the first oh save Juracek now brings the ball away Juan plays forward to Berg it's got options Kelhanoglu out wide to Contreras and that's the end of that highlight why would the highlight end there that looks promising Hertha restart the kick goal kick that is Oh, well done, Miranda. Berg now plays Beaster in. He's in behind all the way. Shoots, and that's 1 0. 1 0 to HSV. Mark, uh, Maximilian Beaster. And we're up into third so far. 24 minutes gone. Finally got the lead. And um, things are looking good so far. But of course, as we know, everything can just turn to absolute shit at any moment, and we could easily lose this lead. So we definitely need to uh, try and find that second goal and give ourselves a bit of security as half-time approaches. There's the half-time whistle. I'm just going to say, I'm pleased to keep things how they're going. And let's, hopefully we can just grind out this one now. I'd love that, but things are never as easy as they seem, are they? Still on the ball, gives it away. This is the pointless highlight, so it should be over in a matter of seconds. There we go, as I'm saying it. There you go, swings it in. Juracek, 2-0. Juracek with the goal off the free kick. <laughs> We're up into first at the moment. Team's playing pretty well so far. We're looking, we're looking really positive. There you go, another free kick. Swung in. Oh, off the post. And then their goalkeeper claims it. Pretty unlucky there not to get our third. I'm going to make a substitution now there. And we're going to bring on Sun Hyung Min. Just because Berg's on a yellow card. Um, we're also going to bring on Navarrete for Cal Hinoglu. Oh, I just tried to bring Berg off because he's on a yellow. And now he gets a red. That's absolutely perfect. Just as I'm trying to make, make a substitution to bring him off. That bloody happened. I can't believe that just happened. That is absolute crap. 
bloody hell. That, that's really frustrating because now we don't have him for the next game. We're already 2-0 up. And it's cleared. I do apologize, guys, if the um, if the uh, game is a little bit laggy. I currently don't have my charger in, as you can see down here. So um, it's making things just go a little bit slower as it's in power saver mode. But hopefully it's not too bad. It doesn't look too bad for me either. Hertha, when it's cleared. Juan, Juan, I keep calling him Juan, but it's Juan. There we go, Beast now. Three seconds left, Navarrete. And that is full time at the Olympia Stadium. And um, we win with a 2-0 victory. Pretty uh, impressive, guys. Great way to start the season. And um, hopefully we can just push on now and try and get some... Um, start the season off and get some wins under our belt nice and early. Um, that would be lovely. Um, we're just going to have a look at the upcoming futures, guys. Um, we do have Hoffenheim at home. Word of Bremen away. Gladbach at home. Freiburg away, sorry. Uh, Bayern at home. And I hope you guys join me back in the next episode, which will... Oh, actually... The next episode is there. Oh, actually, don't worry. Hope you guys join me back for the next episode, which will be against uh, Firth away from home on the 1st of October. Yes, on the 1st of October, guys. Um, if you've enjoyed... It's called the Trolley Arena. The Troll Arena. Um, if you've enjoyed today's episode, guys, and the start of the 16-17 uh, season um, on this series, the HSV series, Give the video a like rating and, of course, add it to your favorites as well. And, um, yeah, just smash that like button, guys. And, of course, if you haven't already, head over to my channel and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my Football Manager content and all the future content I have coming out very soon, guys. I've been a special of you guys. Goodbye.